Welcome back traders. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. I am just here at the store picking up my morning addiction donuts. Now the thing about making your own donuts at home with an air fryer, it's, it's healthy and it's convenient-ish, but it just doesn't compare to the real thing. Anyways, with that said, I'm here with Athena. Hey girl, Athena, what's good buddy? What's good girl? All right, so I'm gonna go get that. Hope everybody's doing great and Let's see what we have going on today. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate all my supporters. Let's get into it. All right, trainers, let's see what we have going on here. So we're not using whale ran, <laughs> whatever, man, <laughs> however you like to say it. Um, as a matter of fact, we're gonna be getting some great lag <laughs> right from the start here. No, but we're gonna be using Pokemon that could potentially counter it. So we're gonna be using Toxicroak, Scrafty, Mawwow, Deoxys defense form Cradily. And I do believe that's going to be it. All right, so I had a lot of fun with it. We can run into some troubles like every single team. Uh, it does have its weakness when a specific Pokemon is taken out, but I had a little bit of fun. I wasn't trying to make some super killer team. I just wanted to have, you know, something that could counter the Wellran, uh, whatever, Wally. And, um, you know, funny enough, I didn't really run into too many like I usually do when I have Pokemon that are actually weak to, I don't know, ice. So we weren't really seeing that too much. But whenever we did encounter it, we had no problem taking it out. So we're going to see two different teams here because, well, we got more than three Pokemon to showcase. So we'll be kind of rotating that out. Do believe we'll be maintaining Mawile like usual. It's just my Pokemon, folks. It is what it is, right? Meta record. It's like my mascot, quite literally. Although I was thinking about changing it, I'm not going to say to what yet, but definitely have some ideas. So we're going to do that catch right about now. I do believe that was like one of our win cons here. So I think we could have still been okay, but well, actually, no, we needed to do that. We had no more shields. Yeah, we definitely needed to swap. So nice catch at the end there. All right. With that said, also make sure you do watch until the very end. I got a little special message for you so you can take a look at that. So look at this beautiful look, look, at look, at look how skillful I am. Look at how skillful I am. I could just, you know, <laughs> I'm obviously being sarcastic. I'm leaving this in here because this is what Go Battle League is. I mean, what is this? Nice catch, by the way. So you, you never know if they're actually gaining energy or not, because a lot of times that I when I'm showing mercy and say they're not attacking. So I just sit still for a moment, too. Next thing you know, they hit me with two charge moves back to back. So I wasn't staying still. All right. It has nothing to do with the trainer. It's Go Battle League. At its core, that needs to be fixed. But Niantic, okay, let's talk about something really quick, folks. So I wasn't aware of this. I guess I would say 99% of people were not. Uh, but apparently there was some sort of glitch with trading. I'm not 100% sure exactly what was going on, but I do believe I'm like 95% sure. <laughs> um, a few people were saying this under the tweet that Niantic support put out about trading trading being disabled uh, people were saying they were still able to trade i don't know if what, what's going on but apparently somebody was able to just get an unlimited amount of lucky trades just they were non-stop every trade was a lucky trade so niantic shut it down you know how it goes let's talk about it we don't really need, we'll get into the commentary but i know you all like to hear me just talk about random stuff here it's not too random you know in the pokemon go realm so We've seen this not once, not twice, but many times before. What am I talking about that Niantic is doing? Taking away a glitch that is benefiting us and making it so it's just going back to normal. When we have multiple broken glitches in this game that have been here for years. We're talking freaking years. And they haven't done a damn thing. You know why? Because we don't get any sort of special benefit. If there's anything that's going to be cutting corners and say helping us i don't know about the lucky trace spending less money inevitably for that i guess maybe you're getting better pokemon therefore you don't have to catch as many i don't know but it, it's a lucky trade that is non-stop so yeah it's good for us right but niantic had to shut it down because well they can't have that they can't have that but go battle league is broken and all these other little bugs within the game there's so you know <laughs> you know i love it when i'm a, I, you know i personally do this as well and i'm sure you have as well in your lifetime when you say, there's so many things, I can't even name all of them. And then somebody says, well, name three. You're like, ah, there's so many, I can't even think of one. <laughs> you know? I, you know what I mean. 
And we've all been in that position. And it is true. Maybe some people are just being dramatic or just saying things, right? Nothing's that horrible that they're describing. They're just saying, it. oh, all these things. But you know what I mean. This game is completely broken. And there are so many that I can't even think of one. <laughs> well, I can, but... So it's just... I find it funny. It just really shows how... Where they stand, exactly. Uh, what they you find to be unacceptable or acceptable as far as a business aspect and profiteering and making money and having the trainers not being able to cut corners just a little bit for a day it, it, you know taking away that trade thing uh, unlimited lucky trades i don't know if it was just for a specific person or what was really going on but we've seen that in the past where there's something that helps us out a bit of a bug let's talk about uh the pokeballs there was a bug back in the day where every single time you go into a catch screen to catch a Pokemon, other than raids, right? Because you get just the premium balls. Uh, there was a bug back in the day where whatever Pokeball you used last, that will show up instantly. Now, it wouldn't, it wasn't like your Go Plus was using Ultra Balls or Great Balls. But what would happen is, say I used an Ultra Ball on a Pokemon to catch for my last tap on the screen catch. The next time I tap on a Pokemon and it goes into that catch screen, that Ultra Ball will be there. And that's nice if you're trying to catch things really fast and efficiently and just making sure you do catch them instead of going over to the Ultra Ball. It's not a big deal. But that was a nice little feature that they could keep, implement permanently, but they took it away. That's just one to name a thousand, okay? So I just wanted to talk about that before we get into the commentary. I already know we're nearly 10 minutes in, but... Um, I, I, I actually had a whole another topic that I wanted to talk about, but I think we'll keep that for another video because, yeah, I, I really have a lot to say about it. it. It is completely good. It's nothing about Niantic or, you know, Ranty. It's, it's nothing like that. As a matter of fact, it's just good input. Something that I would like to see happen within the Pokemon Go or Pokemon Go, Pokemon franchise uh, as a main series games, but we'll leave it at that. Anyways, if you do enjoy my videos, make sure you do hit that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. And I do have a special message at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what I have to say. Don't skip ahead. Make sure you watch the video. Anyways, let's see what, what do we have going on. Oh my goodness, we're not able to get off that grass knot. That, I can tell you right now, that really pissed me off, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so in here with the Mall Wild, this is not Earth Power, so we're letting it go. We're going to immediately swap anyways because our defense is lowered and we're Shadow. Immediately swapping into Scrafty, and then they're bringing in a Whale Ren in the back. And, well, here we go. <laughs> this is exactly why we're running Toxic Croak, and we have, well, a Pokemon that can handle the two Pokemon that are on their team. So the game plan here is just to shield and just do as much damage with the counters. I do believe we'll start to throw the Mud Bombs here. Uh, we're not quite at the point where it's just straight counter down. Uh, they're even letting that go. Wow, incredible. The Maul Wow has plenty of health, no problem at all. And we should be able to handle this here. We're resisting all the moves. We're going to immediately throw in our Maul Wow to just go ahead and catch. See what happens here. Power up punch, okay. Now, I was getting a little bit nervous that they could build up enough energy to foul play me with a powered up foul play from their attack. And that might do enough damage. But we're able to actually get to a mud bomb. I couldn't believe that. I just, <laughs> this game. Or right, so we're getting to the mud bomb and taking them out and taking the win. Let's get it. Next battle, we're met with Number Man here. Let's see what we're going to be meeting in the lead. It's in Altaria. And this is okay. Cradle is fun. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know why. It just looks so cool. The Ivies on this one are just complete garbage. I do have a very good Shadow Cradle. That I did make this morning. I didn't power it up. I need candies, and I didn't, uh, you know, buy a secondary move. But I have it ready to go. Probably should have saved it for some sort of community day. That's what I got with a lot of my shadows. We'll probably go over that again too, as well in the future. I didn't realize I had so many shadow Pokemon that have frustration TM'd away that are just laying dormant, waiting for whatever. All right, so our opponent's gonna receive some lag here. You gotta love it. I mean, like I said, I'm. <laughs> you never know. You don't know what's really going on on the other end. So they're coming in here with a Galarian Stun Fist. Thank goodness they're able to attack. If they weren't, I probably wouldn't have put this video in. And at this point, since they were saying still, it's not like, oh my goodness, Poke, you're so good at, the, you know, go battling. Look at you battling. Look at this. You're a master. No, I mean, I get it. I know. I just wanted to include it because this is the crap that people are dealing with. All right. And, and it's funny because we were just talking about that. I mean, look at this. 
How many months then we put premium passes? I, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Poke, how much do you spend in Go Battle League for premium passes? Uh, I used to spend a lot. Pretty much every single set, premium pass. Uh, I would not use a pass when I had a negative set or just hard countered me really bad. I was like, you know, screw this. I'm not putting money into it for the next set because of that. But otherwise, I would spend uh, my passes on it. Now, I do not. And it's been like that for months, folks. I do not put passes in Go Battle League because it's so broken. Why? Why? would you pay i mean maybe for go battle nights because the extra stardust i suppose and i just got these passes lying around and buy these boxes and i don't even raid in person anymore <laughs> like seriously i don't i really don't too much you know sometimes i'm out there grinding and i look around like dang what happened you know i, I used to go out here and grind a like hard and have fun doing it you know it was good times a little tedious sometimes sometimes i didn't really want to do it all the time but, you know, for the most part, it's fun. I got to get out there and get that Stardust, get new Pokemon, get IVs, Pokemon spreads for whatever situations. But now I just like, it's like go Battle League, do a little bit of grinding maybe. There's an event, I go out, I pay attention to the new Pokemon, try to get the candies and everything else. What I'm doing the most is remote rating. Remote rating is where it's at. Because people are inviting me all over the world. And, you know, I don't know, I'm sure there is locally groups that are meeting up to do raids but it's not like it was before it i mean it's almost non-existent to what it was um i mean even here in anchorage i'm sure in your small town <laughs> i'll rage quit on that one <laughs> i mean we're not going to do too much commentary here you could just take a look but um i'm sure even in your small towns back in the day when you know raids first came out even when they're out for a while people would meet up and do it was great right you had met new friends the good old times before all the stuff right I I don't know. I honestly don't think that people necessarily have slowed down maybe at first uh, for the raids because of the whole global thing that's going on here. I think they've slowed down on doing raids in person because we have remote raid passes. And well, why go out in your car when you can just sit on your couch or sit at your work, at your desk or wherever you're at and just do remote raids like that? But not only that, the whole raid challenges that we used to do, we used to upload a crap load of those. We're talking all kinds of crazy challenges. We're one of the first on YouTube to do that. And I've stopped ever since. It, it, it was one of my favorite things to do. I'm not gonna, you can't even describe, well, I can describe it, but the adrenaline rush that you would get from completing some sort of crazy, weird, wacky raid challenge with some Pokemon that are just so like, what do you, you actually did that? Uh, and being able to accomplish that, having the perfect RNG, having just the perfect timing for everything and actually having no lag occur. But here's the thing, you complete a raid and almost finish it at some sort of incredible rate, dodging everything perfectly, perfect energy management, perfect timing on the raid boss to hit you, to gain energy. And it all comes crumbling down when you have a little lag at the end or you get shadow hit. It's like, that was so infuriating. I don't even want to go out and waste my time anymore sitting out there with gas as my car runs because it's cold outside. If it's summertime, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but you know what I mean? Time is your most important thing in life. And that's what this game is sucking away when you're out here wasting your money and that time. So yeah, this is a nice little uh, going off. Not really. We're just talking, right? Some people really need to learn how to differentiate between having a uh, a, a passionate conversation and, and, and going off on a tangent or a rant or whatever. Maybe me, maybe I need to learn <laughs> what's the difference. Who knows? All I know is you guys enjoy what I'm talking about. We're not taking stabs at anybody. So whatever. Right. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. All right. So <laughs> we still got the cradle going on with the toxic croak. All right. They're swapping. This is pretty good into a drapey on here. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm not going to apologize, but I, I know some people like to hear the commentary throughout the video, but we are uploading a video every day, sometimes two. I know we've kind of slowed down on the two thing a lot, but we're doing a lot of commentary. So we'll just talk, 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 talk here. All right. So I kind of wanted to counter down, but I knew it was not a realistic thing that was going to happen because Drapion gains energy way too fast. And I didn't want to get hit by some sort of Aqua Tail or another Crunch. Bringing in that Deoxys, we're going to easily let this go. That'd be a crazy thing for me to shield it up. And just bring in Mawile. They immediately swap. They got a Whale Ran. Whale Rin. I'll say both of them so you're happy. And plus Wally. All right. So we're going to see them shielding up that Iron Head. Of course, I got a little annoyed by that. 
All right. I mean, I that was my fault. I should have went power up punch. It looked like I was handling the situation here. So uh, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen? Earthquake is not enough to KO. Let's go Cradily because of that grass typing. It's not going to be completely weak to ground and they're not getting stabbed. Taking them out and, 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 oh, and, oh, <laughs> that was a close battle. Good game. You got me there. All right. Mistakes were maybe made, but that's not to discredit my opponent. Next battle. What are we going to see in the lead? We're going Mawile and there is no 3-2-1. It's just... It's, Three twos get screwed. So we're uh, having a good... Oh, we got the Deoxys going on here. And we got the Scrafty. So this is a pretty interesting team, right? So we have uh, essentially three Pokemon here that are actually going to be good up against Bastidon. And also three Pokemon that are going to be good up against... Walran. Whaleran. The uh, Wally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's incredible. I know you guys are leaving comments. I don't mind. You can say that I'm saying it wrong. I don't care. I'm not going to get upset. It's when you start getting nasty about it and all entitled that's when i delete the comments because it's like who do you think you are <laughs> like your mom's calling your macaroni and cheese is ready all right anyway so we're gonna see that flamethrower shielding it up because we want to kind of keep that scrafty healthy and they're swapping into a meganium exactly what i want to see again another kind of weird play going for iron head here i thought they might let it go maybe thinking i was going to go power up punch but they're kind of in a weird position they need to get this meganium alive to some degree i guess they're being pushed in a corner um and we're, yeah, so we're going to go power up punch here. Just you know, a little bit of more damage before we do go down. And uh, they're going to get off a of frenzy plant for sure. So we're easily going to shield this up. Nothing that the Bassadon has is going to be able to take us out. And I do believe they actually just back out after this. And yeah, we're taking the win there. Scrafty, Deoxys, and Mawile team was actually pretty fun. Actually pretty fun. So what I found though was having Rockside on my Deoxys for this specific team it's not wow that three two one i need to restart my app i'm getting a little too excited by just going in afterwards but the deoxys i felt like for this team maybe potentially could have used thunderbolt i'll explain why it's because uh we have mawile here which doesn't really want to see an azumarill and scrafty as well that doesn't really want to see an azumarill so having thunderbolt could prove to be a little bit better plus scrafty weak to flying you, you have rock slide i mean that's you know good against flyers i guess but thunderbolt's going to be giving you a little bit more cover coverage and just a, feels like a little bit more flexible of a team but i keep rock side this entire time just giving you some advice up against the uh, umbreon here and there's nothing that we can really do except for go for counters and we're in a great position i mean we have two other pokemon that can handle this and technically the deoxys i mean look what we're doing i mean we bring it into the red i mean we're not even shielding i mean we're perfectly fine we're going to go in here with their scrafty and just farm up they're bringing in their own Scrafty here to get out that power-up punch. We're going to let this... Oh, never mind. That was going to let the first one go through. I think I've learned my lesson. So it's like, yeah, you know what? I'll just let that first one go through. And next thing you know, uh, you're getting beat down. And then you, you, you just needed to shield that one little power-up punch. And that would have been enough to win that matchup. So, yeah, I'm not playing that game anymore. We're just going to go ahead and shield it up anyways. And come on, let's go. And they back out there. We take the win. Looking good. This team was proven to be pretty good. My last team that I used today, I went 0 and 5. So if you did battle me while I was using a Hypno or a Pidgeot, um, that's why the videos are not in, uh, those clips are not in the video because it was, sh that's what we do. We test things out. If you won against me, good, good game. Good job. You got me. All right. If you want to go on Twitter and start bragging, like, I don't know, <laughs> that you be my guest. That's just going to be bringing more people to my thing. We all lose. It's like, okay. And you know what I find funny? I thought I'm garbage. Right? I thought I'm garbage. There's a lot of people who are very, 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 very sweaty online while battling me for uh, somebody who, who supposedly is garbage at this game, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's so freaking funny. All right, we're taking them out, and they have a Scrafty back there. Oh, right. Now, this isn't... All right, that's good. So, the, since they immediately swapped, this is perfect. The reason why I was nervous is because if you have a Scrafty kind of a mirror match going on, but the other Scrafty has more energy. I mean, this is going to say for any mirror match, any Pokemon that has more energy is going to be in a better position, right? But specifically for the super effective quick move deal and then the power up punch, you're going to lose. Yeah. So we're up against a Jellicent. Now, I've had this battle a lot of times before where they just keep going bubble, bubble beam. Um, it's, it's very annoying, but it's a strategy that can stall you out. 
and actually help, you know? So I know what they're trying to do right now. They're trying to catch, exactly. So we're gonna be very careful. That's why we weren't just tapping on it. We're looking at our switch clock. We know what they're gonna do. Swapping into our Mawile here. Gonna go ahead and uh, power up punch, do as much damage as we can. Now I'm still getting nervous. We still have one shield left. I'm like, uh, when should I use this? Our Scrafty doesn't have much health at all. We're not gonna survive, but what? One counter at this point, since they powered up punched, well, maybe like two. So I'm just going to have to shield that up with Mawile. And I'm thinking, well, dang, it, that Jellicent is going to take us out, right? Uh, now it's definitely going to have energy. But we get to our charge move. There you go. Hope you did enjoy this video. And now, got a special little word here. So, well, let's get into it. All right, trainers, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you do hit that like button. Really appreciate everybody that does support me. Um, you know, Twitter is Twitter. It does its thing. Who cares? It is what it is. I'm not explaining a damn thing to people if they want an explanation from me and they're demanding it from me. What do you think this is? What do you think I'm going to give them one? Give me a freaking break. I'm not a, I'm not that guy. Don't come at me like this. Simple as that. I don't play stupid and I don't bend the knee to whatever the mob wants me to bend the knee to. Get the hell out of here with that. So lunatics will be lunatics. Obsessed people that have no life. That, that, that are hating will do what they have to do because they're miserable with themselves. And that's just the way it goes. You know, it's a, just, that's just the way it goes. It's plain and simple. We already all know. If you don't like somebody, you stay away from them, right? If you like somebody, yeah, you follow them, you hang out with them. And if you're upset that you got blocked or whatever the case may be, well then, and you start making multiple accounts or start making tweets about that person, you're obviously upset you got blocked and there's something in your brain, some chemical imbalance that is just completely throwing you for a loop and you're just going bananas in your own mind and you have to do these things, but at the same time, play like you don't care or you hate it or you hate them. You see, I mean, it can be, it's so easy to see. That's why I don't care. <laughs> I mean, look, look at me. Look at it. I'm chilling with Athena, doing my thing, editing, living the YouTube life. I mean, of course they're going to be mad. So I, th I just thought I'd throw this little fun bit in here at the end because <laughs> if you if you think I'm sitting over here like stressing, I'm sitting over here. <laughs> I'm a good. I'm gonna go edit. I'm gonna go do some battles. Or actually, I already did those. I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna go have some green. I'm gonna go for a walk outside. It's actually snowing. It's a beautiful day, and life is amazing. The only thing is I'm going to trip over one of Athena's toys that she keeps leaving around. I swear sometimes I feel like she's trying to make me break my neck. <laughs> look, at, look at her. She's like, oh, crap. He found it. <laughs> look at, look at. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sweet good coil. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. And, uh... We'll catch you on the next one. I hope you did enjoy these battles. Oh, she's just full of love. She's just one lovey god, yeah. Make sure you brush your dog's teeth and mouth. Oh, she's like, play with me. Make sure you brush your dog's teeth and mouth. Anybody who tells you that their <laughs> mouth is like killing bacteria and it's like a, a, a clean, sterile place is absolutely opposite. Their mouths are filthy, disgusting. And you need to clean the brush them regularly. I would show you. She just starts opening her mouth and will let me just brush her teeth. Because when you start doing these things from a young age, oh, yes, sweetheart. Yes. Then uh, they get used to it. Anyways. Well, we got three minutes here. All right. Cool. Uh, anyways, there you go. Just thought I'd give you a little tick, little talk, talk, little one-on-one -on -one time with me, the one and only. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, oh, jumping on me. Oh, 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 getting, getting, she's like, what are you doing? You were playing, what's going on? All right, guys, looks like she wants me to play. Actually, I'm about to start editing. All right, so I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for watching and take care.
Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.